Uh, Jacob, I had the opportunity to spend uh, some time with the Africans children Qu Children's Choir, and I had a child pray for me. And the simplicity of the child's prayer touched my heart. Do we lose that simplicity as we become more educated sometimes? You know, I know what you're describing, Tim. I've seen this in Africa, and I've certainly seen it in Asia. <clears throat> with the prayers of the African children and also the Filipino children and so forth. Absolutely incredible to watch the simplicity, but real faith, real trust of their prayers. to all of you. What a great looking crowd. Did y'all come back Sunday morning? Uh, yes. I know we got drummer guys coming back this Sunday morning. <laughs> we are just so pleased that you've taken time to come tonight. You are in for a just an unbelievable treat. We've had a chance to meet the, the kids, the children from Uganda, and uh, the people that are working with them traveling uh, this side of the Mississippi. They are about five months into their tour. They're in the States for about another month. And then they go to the UK for the rest of the year. It's a one year tour. You'll probably hear more about that later on. Um, all I ask you to do is people continue to come in. Just kind of, if you've got a space near you, or if you can squeeze over near that neighbor a little bit, that would be a great thing to do. Uh, we ask you, to not do any flash photography. You can run videos, you can take pictures, please just no flash photography. And uh, midway through the program, we'll take time for uh, an offering. That's not the end of the concert, that's only about halfway through. So we'll come back a little bit later and talk about that. Let's just open with a word of prayer, ask God's blessing upon this wonderful evening we're gonna have together. Father, we thank you for who you are and whose we are as believers. We thank you for these young people, these young children who have the love of Jesus Christ and come to share with us um, in song and dance. And um, we just thank you for the people that have taken time this evening to be here. We ask your blessing upon all parts of this service and we will just enjoy each other, enjoy the music, most of all, enjoy praising you. We thank you for that in your son's precious name. Amen. Amen. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Uncle Kyle. Where are you, Uncle Kyle? There you come, right there. This is the main man. Good evening. How's everyone doing tonight? Great, it is great to be here with you all. My name is Kyle, and I'm the tour leader of this amazing group. At home in Africa, many of the children you're about to meet have been surrounded by severe poverty and deadly sickness. But despite their challenging circumstances, these children have not lost hope. These children represent the tremendous potential of Africa. They represent the change that faith and hope can bring. These children have traveled halfway around the world to share their faith, their hope, and their joy with you this evening. But before we begin, I would like to introduce to you our choir conductor who toured with the 19th African Children's Choir. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Auntie Sunia to the stage. And they are all from Uganda. So as they sing and dance, feel free to sing along with them and clap along with them and dance along with them and cheer them on, okay? Yeah. But as you dance, don't break a leg, okay? <laughs> so are you ready to meet the children? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Let me take this opportunity and invite 
the remarkable children of the 46th African Children's Choir.
My name is David. The children call me Uncle David, but feel free to call me David. <laughs> the African Children's Cry began over 31 years ago in Uganda. In 1984, after the brutal reign of Idi Amin, a terrible civil war had left hundreds and thousands of children orphans without a home and without hope. Our president and founder, Ray Barnett, was doing relief work in Uganda at that time. And he was inspired by a small orphan boy yeah. whom he gave a lift to in his car. The boy had lost both parents. He didn't know where his next meal would come from, but he sang the entire journey with a pure joy and dignity that moved Ray Barnett very deeply. So Ray thought, why not bring a group of children from Africa to the Western world to show them the potential and promise of Africa's children? In 1984, the first African Children's Choir came over to North America, and since then, the work of the organization has spread over to seven African countries, which include Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda, South Sudan, Ghana, Nigeria, and South Africa. The organization supports children in 35 schools across Africa, and over the last 31 years, it has educated over 52,000 children. The Bible says that God knew us even before we were created in our mother's wombs. And he has good plans for us. I know this truth first hand. We'd love to introduce these children to you so that you get to know them by name and hear the dreams that are in their hearts. And believe with us that among them there could be a future leader of Africa or even a teacher who would bring knowledge and education to the poor or even a doctor who could find a cure for cancer or AIDS, who knows? Would you like to meet these children by name? Hello, my name's Fiona. When I grow up, I hope to be a math teacher. Hello, my name is Winifred. When I grow up, I hope to be a doctor. Hello, my name's Richmond. When I grow up, I hope to be a lawyer. When I grow up, I hope to be a doctor. Hello, my name is Peter. When I grow up, I hope to be a pilot. Hello, my name is Elizabeth. When I grow up, I hope to be a pilot. Hello, my name is Hook. When I grow up, I hope to be a doctor. Hello, my name is Tracy. When I grow up, I hope to be a flight attendant. Hello, my name is Jackson. When I grow up, I hope to be an engineer. Hello, my name is Ian. When I grow up, I hope to be a doctor. Hello, my name is Samuel. When I grow up, I hope to be a doctor. Hello, my name is Wayne. When I grow up, I hope to be a nurse. Hello, my name is Irene. When I grow up, I hope to be a nurse. Hello, my name is Irene. When I grow up, I hope to be a nurse. Hello, my name is Leslie. When I grow up, I hope to be a bank manager. Hello, my name is Gloria. When I grow up, I hope to be a nurse. Hello, my name is Kevin. When I grow up, I hope to be a police officer.
If you're interested in learning more about our Friends of the Choir program or our sponsorship program, you can come find me in the lobby after the concert. There is one more way that you can be involved. We are always looking for more caring, amazing, and incredible individuals to join the children on the road as members of our chaperone teams. We need bus drivers, tour leaders, teachers, administrators, and sound engineers. We are all volunteers, and taking care of the children on the road is a job that will change your life. If you're interested in learning more, I'd be happy to tell you.
wakati wa sang in the choir i sang in the 19th african children's choir and i used to stand in the front row right here and i used to think they put me in the front row because i was the cutest <laughs> that's my picture right there what do you think yeah oh, in so many ways the choir has made me who i am today I lost my dad when I was a young girl, so my mom did not have enough money to take us to school with all my other siblings. So I used to stay home and watch other children coming home from school with their backpacks, telling stories about school, and I would long for that. I would long to have the education they were having, and all that changed when I was selected to join the African Children's Choir. I got to have the education that I always longed for. I traveled the world, I saw so many new things, and I came back with a new hope that I can make my home a better place. And through sponsorship, with the help of the choir, I pursued a degree in public administration and management, and I graduated last year. The African Children's Choir changed my life too, and I'd love to share my story. I lost my dad to an accident when I was barely two weeks old. My mom was a stay-at-home mom, and she could not afford to take care of me and my elder sister in a city called Kampala. So she decided to take us to a village called Duero. And while there, she did small jobs such as washing people's clothes, digging in people's gardens, just to make ends meet. It's through that process that she came in contact with one of the staff members at one of the schools the organization supports. The staff member told her to bring her son over for a choir audition. I went and I was selected for the 14th African Children's Choir way back in 1996. Since then, my life also changed. When I came back from the tour, through the choir program, I was able to receive an education. And two years ago, I graduated from Makere University in Uganda with a bachelor's in fisheries and aquaculture. Um, we are just two of thousands of lives that have been changed by the choir. What if someone had not given? Wow. What if Jesus had not come? What if he had not given everything for us? You know, if you didn't catch that part in there, Uganda is the youngest nation in the world. Not the newest, the youngest. 35 million people live in Uganda. Half of them are 14 years of age or younger. Just think about that. We're just enjoying these children and their enthusiasm and the music and all the things that they bring to us. Half of the people in Uganda live on less than a dollar a day. Wow. So this is an offering time. This is a time for you to be able to give. Nothing of that comes to us as a church. It's just our joy to be able to have you here to enjoy this. So a couple of things you need to know. First of all, you should have gotten a donor card with an envelope. If you didn't, uh, when the ushers come down, they will be glad to give you one of those. Also, if you would rather uh, give electronically, there'll be a table outside in the foyer, and you can give it to a secure site, and you can give your money that way if you want to. Anything $15 and over that you give tonight, whether it's cash or whether it's a check, you will receive a tax receipt for it. So we just need general information for you. Uh, if you are making out a check, it, is, it goes to Music for Life. Music for Life. That's where you want to make your check out. So I just want us all to pause right now for just a few moments in silence. And just think about what you want God to be able to do through you for these children. They just touch my heart. Uh, 
I'm an educator as well as the pastor, but the little people, the, the church people here know that I'm just sort of crazy about kids. I like noisy kids, I like babies making noise, because that's the lifeblood of your church. And these people up here, these little ones up here, are just so excited about being able to share their love. You just see it in their faces. So let's just take a, a moment, and I'll lead in prayer. The ushers will come to take the offering. Again, if you do not have an envelope, uh, that will be given to you. As the ushers come down, they'll have some extra ones with them. And uh, just fill that out. If you don't get a chance to drop it in the offering plate right now, <clears throat> you can do that as you leave. Let's just pause for just a moment, and I'll pray. Father, I know as a pastor, an offering time sometimes gets very tense. And what we need to do is just relax and realize you've given us everything. We are so blessed as a country that we think nothing of spending $5 on a hamburger. And these children and the families they come from that's almost one week's worth of money for them. So Father, I pray you would just touch our hearts to give over and above. And I know there's several options on the card for monthly giving or sponsoring. And I just pray all of us would just do something to help out this ministry and help these children to be able to go back and get an education and to make something of themselves and for their country. And we're privileged to partner with them. I thank you for that opportunity. And I ask your blessing upon all of those that give, those that are unable to give, that they would give in prayer, and they would give thinking about these children as they spend time on their knees praying for them, for the leaders, for those volunteers. We just thank you because you're an awesome God and you love us, and you especially love children. May we take care of them as we are able. In your son's precious name, we pray these things. Amen. Amen. at a very young age. We both and girls are not different.
they did wonderful that all the large people came to our concert. Oh, yes! We understand that some of you will like to take us into your homes and adopt us. Is that so? Oh, yes, but I'm very sorry to inform you that you're not up for adoption. <laughs> we'd like to go back home and make it better there. But there are four different ways that you can take us into your home. Can you please tell the people the four different ways? Say this!
that would be good. Huh? All right, now we know we have host families and just uh, some directions for host families. You will be meeting over in the West Overflow after we are completely finished. And I should give you just a couple of words of direction. And then, will you sing another song after I get done talking? Yeah. Oh, yeah, all right. That's good. Y'all want to come to my house tonight? When, when you leave here, do not forget that um, if you're going to make a gift by credit card, that'll be on your left, and all those wonderful things they want you to remember you buy are off on the right-hand side, right? So they should buy everything that's there, so we'll make sure that takes place. And as we leave, the parking lot is very full, which is just touches my heart as the pastor. Um, but you will need to be patient when you do leave because you'll all be heading to the right and going around this part of the building and you'll be dismissing by rows of cars. So just be patient. We've not had quite a crowd like this for a while, so it's a great problem, but we're gonna get through it. But it helps you practice patience, does it not? Well, Okay, um, one other quick thing, and then we're going to have the kids sing again. Um, I met a gentleman in the back uh, from the Tuskegee Air Airmen, and for those of us that are older, you're aware of who those gentlemen are, and uh, they have a chapter here in the area, and he just said, would there be a time that maybe we could come and share some things? So uh, you might be seeing something later on uh, in the newspaper or something about that. Uh, just a great way of honoring a great group of, of men who served our country well. And so uh, we'll be talking about that later on. So I think that's enough as far as uh, information at the end. And uh, you're going to sing again, aren't you? Because if you're not going to sing again, I'll stand up and just keep on talking. It was rather up them yeah. or me. Okay, I get Sunday morning, they get tonight. Okay, thank you guys.
They're going live on the TV. No, they don't have to get lined up. They just go nuts. Say hi. Okay, I rap. What? I rap. You rap? I want to I rap for you. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> go ahead. The closer you are, the closer the more he can see. Okay, go ahead and rap. <laughs> let me count it. Let me count it, you guys. Like we did at the studio, let me count it. Let me count it. One, two, three, go. Who's Daddy Jeff? I am Daddy Jeff from America. Back at Uganda, loves him. Yeah, there's no me. Yeah, yeah, please enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Okay.